congratulations, you have diabetes. Flavor is actually the combination of taste and aroma. All people, they want to look like they are free on the outside, but no, like deep down inside, that they are restrained. Do you remember what you ate? No le voy a decir nada, mamá, prométeme. Prométeme. Me dijiste que inmediatamente iba a poder empezar a mandar lana, me lo juraste. It tastes like love. I'll tell you the truth about them. They're so afraid of life that they don't know how to enjoy it. Eating their so-called healthy food and then they worry it right into sludge. It don't matter what you put in your stomach, baby, as long as you enjoy it on the way down. You want to make this about us and them? Okay then, do you have any idea how hard I had to work to make this meal? Oh, baby. I had to go 20 blocks south to get it and paid a lot for it too. I mean, when was the last time you saw a head of broccoli in a bodega, Dad? If you think you're happy right now, walking down the sidewalk, wearing those clothes, having eaten that lunch, it's only because you don't actually know the people and animals who gave their lives to make this sidewalk and those clothes and that lunch. You never saw them bleed, so you think you're happy. I am happy. <laughs> Not for real. You can't live and think like that. No, you can't. So how do you live? Painfully. Nos vemos al fin. No, no te voy. That's one of the things I really loved about this show, which is it's it's really not about food. And it really was using food as a prism for looking at the society and what's happened to the society, and particularly what's happening to the people at the bottom of the society. The purpose of the food industry is to get people to eat more food, not less. At Farmers Market, farmers take home up to 19 cents of every dollar to consumer spends to $0.09 on the dollar. So I guess I would say find what little piece of it pisses you off the most and try to do something about it. <laughs>